Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you, you guys know it. Say it with me. You got here just in time. That's right. It's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Fives. I don't have a name for it yet. I got a, I got a, I got, you know, I got an ongoing stream of products coming in. The name will manifest itself. Do y'all remember a couple weeks back, I was out at the, the, the property and I was talking about the bucket heater. Who else has a toilet in their front? <laughs> I gotta do something with that. Anybody need a used toilet? Not recently used, but it's been used. Anyway, I digress. So I'm out here doing some work in the green box. You want to know what I've been doing in the green box? You got to jump over to the RV Homestead, Texas to check that out. But meanwhile, I got, I'm hot and sweaty. I still don't have water on the property, but I had a product show up. So I brought a bucket of water. And I do have that bucket heater that I talked about a couple weeks ago. And our first sponsor for this edition of Friday's Finds is Dear Family. That's what I said, Dear Family, not Family, Family, F-A-M-Y, Dear Family. And they have sent us, I need it so bad, a portable two-in-one camping shower. Check that out. We're going to unbox this bad boy. We're going to see what what it can do. And, and I'm going to actually, I need to use it. <laughs> I'm so hot and sweaty. But let's do the unbox first. And then uh, we'll, I'll go from there. Three different colors. We have, looks says black. It comes with an instruction manual, tote bag, transport bag. I think that's a battery pack. I think that's a pump. Show sure enough. Up there, dear Fammy. We have a Shower wand. We have ways to charge and mount the shower handle. And we have a hose. Got to have a hose. And that hose is about six feet long. How do I know? Because I'm six foot two. And that's, that's about six feet long because it's just a little on the short side for my reach. So, uh huh. We have our shower wand, and that connects to this end. I'm glad it's black. I, I, I'm not a fan of orange. And then we have this one. And this one connects to this one. And that flips in there like. Ah! You gotta hold your mouth just right. There we go. And then we tighten that down. Now since this is just over six feet, or just under, it's right at six feet. That means I'm gonna have to elevate my bucket. So then we have the USB that plugs into guess I thought that was a battery pack maybe it's not maybe I need to read the instructions after all I'll be back <laughs> you're still with me I, I thought I'd turned you off all right so I learned something this is this is that it's the it's the two-in-one part so we have our battery pack right there that's what that is but you pull that apart and there's your control and there's actually two LEDs in there. So you have a flashlight. Or you have 
a lantern so you can shower in the dark. And then you gotta hold the power to turn it off. I guess. There we go. All right. So I just happen to have coincidentally, coincidental, it's a coincidence. Or is it a coincident? We're hooked up. All right. The coincidence. I just happened to have a bucket of water. And it's been in the back of the pickup. And it's kind of warm. Have no worries. I am not getting naked for you. But we are going to play with this. So we drop that in, in the bucket. I say, I, we, we got an issue right here, and I, I, th I think that cord could stand to be a little bit longer. Oh! Ah, okay, so we have a valve. Check that out. Yes, indeed. I'll be a, I'll be a clean dude this evening. That, that is right handy. You don't have, you don't have to worry about taking batteries with you. It's a rechargeable lithium ion, lithium iron phosphate battery. Just a good battery. Yeah. So I'm gonna get cleaned up and we'll resume this conversation when i get to the next product because that's in the north texas area <laughs> so i gotta i gotta finish cleaning up here and boogie it back north so stay tuned we just got a box from all powers let's take a look and see what's inside what did they send us I think I know what it is, and it's a good day for it. Ooh, that's a nice package. Check that out. That's a 60 watt portable solar power. Solar panel gives us 60 watts of solar power. connections or wiring a carabiner some silica gel packs and a collection of connectors oh we actually have two carabiners so we can hang it up and more silica gel packs the way that looks oh that's handy very handy we can use our carabiners to hang it up like that and why would we need a 60 watt solar panel right here in this here box There we go. The All Powers S200. You can actually get these as a as a set, or if you just want the individual components, you can make that purchase as well. 
portable power station owner's manual, more silica gel packs, power cord, and a transformer. inductive charging for your cell phone this is a 200 watt and I've got to put some power in it so it's a good thing the Sun is shining so we're gonna put it to the test I'm gonna hang the, the panel out there on the fence we'll charge it up and we'll come back and after it's charged and we'll talk about it some more so it don't go away I'll be right back of course as the uh, the all powers company is makes both products the power cord went it plugged straight in and right now we are pulling uh take 62 watts and it says it'll take one hour to completely charge so I'll be back in about an hour. So we've gotten clean out in the woods with the bucket shower. We've got a portable power pack that's charging up so that we can charge our phone, work on the laptop, whatever we need to do with 200 watts of solar or run the CPAP machine with the, the 200 watt portable solar generator. So now we need a place to sleep. And for a long time, Yappy's been, well, maybe we need to put one of those tents on top of the car. And I'm like, eh, I don't think so. But she's, she, she's really interested in that. So we had, a, we had a vendor reach out to us and said, well, would we be interested? And I said, well, my wife would very much be interested in a rooftop tent. So they sent us one. But it's not like most of your rooftop tents. That is some kind of box. Oh, we've got wheels. Look at there. That'll make things a whole lot simpler. Let's see what's in here. Maybe there's some instructions. air pump we have a ladder that's a good thing I found the instructions they were in the tent pole bag so let me let me review these and then we'll 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 set it up here in the backyard and then we'll figure out how to put it on the on the top of Yappy's car. I've, I've examined the instructions and I still don't know what I'm doing. That's why I'm here. She blows pretty good, but not enough PSI. All right. Now we need to inflate the base. Found it. Found it. So 
the, the inflation points, this is for the tent frame, this is for the mattress. Relatively convenient. It's a big Schrader valve. It's inflated. I found that both of your inflation points are on this corner. It'll give you a good cardio workout. I encourage you to look at some <laughs> look at some air pumps. Okay, let me catch my breath. I figured it out. All except the strapping it on top of the car part, but that comes next. So the the poles that are included are to support the rain fly. So this also is the cover when it's stowed. You don't have to have this on. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'd pull it off unless it was just an overnight stop and inclement weather was expected because it's going to be rather stuffy in there. Now, if it's cold, that'll be great. You've got two layers of of insulation well not insulation but fabric and this is waterproof so it's going to be windproof as well now that you're not going to be able to use that if you're camping you're just putting this out on the ground so i'm going to take this off now that i understand how this works and i'm going to go see if we can put this on the roof of the car it's hot in case you can't tell it's like uh, 95 degrees and it's nine o'clock in the morning. I have got it mounted on top of the SUV. So it would be, the, the instructions recommend that you inflate the base first and put it on and then inflate the framework of the tent. This is not a leave on the top of your car kind of rooftop tent. This, because it's strapped to the wheels and it only has a couple of small buckles holding it to the roof rack. But that keeps you from blowing. If you got a lot of wind, it says that those will make noise. You do have enough hose on your pump to reach the framework. There are, there are straps to lock the ladder in place so you don't have to worry about that kicking out. I was rather surprised at how, hold on, let me adjust my camera here. I was really surprised at how resilient the floor is. But you know, it's it's like um, a stand-up paddleboard. It, it's pretty rigid. There's a shoe rack. I haven't put it in here, but there's a shoe rack that you can hang. And you've got your gear bag there. It's now I'm six foot two, seventy-two inches, and I have enough room to lay down. I, I do have to get. A, a little bit at an angle if this wasn't here not a problem at all if you're camping out on if you're camping out on the beach or something this would be the be a great way to, be a great way to get up off the sand so that uh, you're not just like right down at wind level might get a little relief from the insects up here as well you can open the fly up here. We've got good no see them netting. A nice breeze coming through. And if you're camping someplace where you're worried about like large predators, bears and whatnot, yeah, this, this would be a great thing to have. If you're not worried about sleeping on the ground, I think this would be a great tent to have anyway because it's got the mattress already built in. So you're not having to carry sleeping pads. You don't have to worry about putting together poles. 
unless you're doing the rain fly and I'm going to put the rain fly on next but I wanted to get in here uh, while there's more light and of course more airflow because it's extremely hot and humid here right now uh, but yeah you know don't have to worry about being down on the ground where the critters are so next I'm gonna put the rain fly on and I'll be back the storm fly on still get really good airflow coming through not quite as well ventilated but that's to be expected since you can climb in and out when it's pouring rain your fiberglass rods you have you have a couple of ways to put them in on the big ones so you've got the velcro strap or there's actually a pocket that starts here and goes around your short rods go here to act as a brace and then on this side you're tucking the rod into or behind the velcro the same thing applies over here and when you get ready to to pack it away this is the configuration you're going to want with the rain fly in place because we've got the zipper here that connects to the zipper there's a zipper right there so it zips together nice and tight well, if you're going to be at the beach for a couple of days that's awesome it's not one of those tents you're going to be setting up in a you know in a real fast hurry but it it'll, it'll it does the job and you're not on the ground all right it does it for this rooftop tent now all we need is some power to watch some tv in the tent so let's go check out that power station but the little solar 60 watt solar panel that came with the the all powers power bank hangs right there perfect well not quite perfect i need to need to make a little adjustment here we are in the tent i got the all powers power bank and charge the phone we're at 100 or 99 percent we have 110 charge so i can i can use my cpap machine we've got the inductive charging for the cell phone and if i can need to charge some camera batteries i've got a couple of usb ports 200 watts of power it's enough for me to use my cpap for two nights as long as i don't have the heater on the humidifier i had to do a little work to get this video put together i like the power bank i think it's a handy dandy device i'm kind of impressed i'm i'm more impressed with this tent than i thought i would be turns out it's it's more better oh got sweat in my eyes hold on i wasn't sure what i expected i was i was i was thinking that it was going to be a, a a strap on and and leave on top but uh it's not but what do you i mean it's a great it's a great value for what it is it's a tent with an inflatable floor they show on on the amazon page they show this being used as a boat now i don't think i'll ever put it on the water but you know it might be kind of a neat experience to just get a little bit offshore and sleep on the waves might be something we give the, give a try to but we're done with this edition of friday's finds i gotta pack all this stuff away i'd like to give a special shout out of thanks to the the Amazon vendors that made this video possible, 
from the rooftop tent to the all powers power station and last but certainly not least that portable shower that makes life good when you don't have a shower handy if you found some value from this edition of friday's finds i'd be i'd sure appreciate it if you'd click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media sphere that helps with the youtube algorithm way more than you know and if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button that really helps too and if you've already been following along thank you so much that, that's why i get to play with these toys it's, it's from because of you guys thank you so much for that and for my patrons you guys rock all right y'all come back now you hear